Welcome back to SoundersFC.com. Tony Ventrello with Steve Zakawani. Familiar face, but we haven't seen you in a while. It's great to see you. Great to hear from you today. I know you spoke for the first time since the injury. First question, how are you feeling physically, mentally? Feeling good. Feeling good. Um, it's probably the best I've felt since um, April 22nd. Um, physically, obviously, I'm walking around, driving. I'm pretty mobile, the most mobile I've been. And um, mentally, also, I'm in a good place now because my outlook's positive and um, I'm just counting down the days to when I can start jogging and then eventually sprinting and then eventually playing. So I'm in a good place. And it took a while to get that outlook positive, didn't it? And that's totally understandable, but it took a while. Yeah, in the beginning, it's really tough because you're fighting such a mental battle. Um, because you, it's so instant, there's no warning. It's just kind of one day you're running around playing, scoring goals, and the next day it gets taken away from you. So that's tough to deal with, and I had to go through that, and it's a natural process. But um, all through it, I had a really good support system that really helped me. And then I'm kind of past that stage now where I've, where I've accepted it, and um, I'm just looking out to my recovery and kind of the things I need to do to get right. So I'm always talking to my doctors, to the trainers, and just anything they say to do, I do. Is it a situation where each day is a small step, a minor victory? Yeah, everything, like I said. Um, if, for example, for those times when I couldn't, my big toe was motionless, I, could, I had no sensation towards it, and then the first day it could move, I celebrated that victory. Um, when I first got back into my car driving, celebrated that victory, um, anything. So I was on two crutches, that was good, and I got to one, that was good, and then now I can move about pretty good without any crutches that's good so any small victory I celebrate and then eventually you, you'll get they add up to big victories like jogging and then sprinting and then playing with a ball and then eventually getting back to quest which is my goal so and speaking of that I know that uh, there is no definite date and it's probably better for you that there is no definite date of return correct yeah yeah that's my that's my way yeah. if I had the date in my mind where that the doctors have told me then I'd be working towards that so hard, and that's not a bad thing. But if I somehow didn't manage to get back by that date, I'd become discouraged. So I think I've set my own date in my mind, something realistic, and um, that's what I'm kind of focused on working towards. And then that's something I've set, so I won't be disappointed if it doesn't work because I'm expecting it to happen just because of me. Final question, uh, a comment from you about support from fans. I know it's been overwhelming. First class, first class from Facebook to letters to the tribute they did at the Toronto game. Um, people I've seen in the streets, at the grocery store, even in the hospital. There were some fans there. Some of the doctors were fans. So, um, yeah, it's it's no, it's been unbelievable. I can't um, ever find the words to thank this community. I mean, no matter where my career takes me now, Seattle's always going to be a place in my heart. I love this city, love the fans, the club's been first class. So that's really, really given me a boost through my recovery and helped me. All right, best of luck. May every day bring uh, more small victories and eventually a big victory. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Steve. Right, I appreciate it.